Warning, use professional supervision when creating equipment. This project has been rated hard. Do it yourself too, care, buff dudes, buff curls. What we got going on is what we need for the home gym, buff dudes home gym. And that is a dumbbell rack. We got the weight rack for the plates made, the weight tree. Now we need the dumbbell rack because they're all on the floor. So what we're gonna do is build that today. We're gonna kind of cross-reference my channel, Do It Yourself Duke, where I'm showing some basic welding. So the folks who are watching that stuff over there are gonna be able to apply it in making this dumbbell rack. Really simple thing, just some steel and some welding. Let's get started. Well, there's everything we need right there. Some steel. A welder, a sawzall, metal cutting blade, a grinder, and some paint. We're gonna put this thing together. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. All the parts that we need to build our dumbbell rack. Over here we have the two uprights, which are 39 and a half inches, or for our metric friends, 100 centimeters. Okay, this square tubing is an inch and a half by inch and a half, and one eighth of an inch thick. You check that out. A little spider whip. He's probably in there somewhere. Where is he? <gasps> Over here pieces that will go to the floor and stabilize it or 20 inches apart two of those or 50 centimeters which is pretty cool that's roughly 50 centimeters over here is where the dumbbells will go these pieces there's six of them and they're six and three quarters inches long which is 12 centimeters there and these, which are six of these, are 76 centimeters long, or 30 inches. And the distance between this angle iron is four and three quarters inches, or 12 centimeters. So there we go. And there's our multitude of dumbbell variety. As you can see, this is pretty good distance Okay, our next step in our layout is to make sure we got enough distance between the dumbbells when we put our racks on there. That's basically six and a half inches or 16 and a half centimeters. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and weld these pieces on first, but we want the right distance in between those and also the angle. It doesn't have to be much of an angle just enough so they're easy to grab. They could actually be flat. Most of them I've seen are kind of slightly angled so they're easier to pull off of. So we'll get to right. That I think will weld about, according to the, the square here, it's about at 65 degrees this way. So we'll keep it at that, about 10 inches apart. Just want room to get in there and grab those dumbbells. And also not too close to the floor, so you gotta bend way over to get one, especially the heavier stuff. Put the heavier ones on top anyway, and then it's always easier. Okay, let's do some welding. Okay, first one tacked on. In the center, I put it about two and a half inches from there to there on each side, that averages out. Okay, here's a little tip that will help you lining up the other side. Just take the one you've tacked, you've welded, and lay it on top of the other one. Then you can just make a mark on each one. And then you won't have to measure and all that other junk. You'll just be able to you'll just be able to lay that on top. Boom, boom, boom. Weld that right on there. Save you some time that way. Okay, now we'll weld our little tree there to the base and that'll be nine and a quarter inches okay now it's starting to take shape check this out 
Yep, that's the first row. Now it's kind of cool. Sometimes people will use like bed rails because that's a nice angle for that, but they're taller. And yeah, you can use taller angle too, but remember, I just got this out of the scrap pile, so it was something that was laying out there anyway, so I'm gonna use it. It'll be enough to hold it. You probably wouldn't want to go any smaller in that angle because it might not catch that dumbbell. This will work good for this. Okay, there it is. And turned out good. I went ahead and welded all these places down there, all around, both sides. Welded here in the back, underneath, on the side, so it's really, really strong. And there we go. So, the next time you see it, It'll be in the Buff Dude Gym, all painted black, because that's all we got to do. What I did also want to mention that I went ahead and ground all these corners, so there's no sharp corners here, down there. You don't want to stub your toe on, because when you cut that stuff, it's like a razor sharp edge. So ground all that stuff, so it looks good. So I'm just gonna kind of clean it up, wash it up with some. Uh, lacquer thinner, wax and grease remover, whatever I have, and then just paint it flat black. So check it out. And there it is, the dumbbell rack complete. Looks like we need to get some more dumbbells here. Yeah. So that was an easy one. Actually too, I want to mention that you wouldn't have to weld these joints. You could bolt them together. Of course you'd have to drill holes, bolt this stuff. I've seen some like that. I've seen some made out of wood too, but this one's made out of steel and welded just because we had the welder. Anyway, until next time, do it yourself, Duke. Stay buff.